This is a demonstration of a little-known function in TV Paint, but it's very useful. So I wanted to make a little quick demo here of how it works. All right, so I have an image here of a cube. And uh, typically when you're working with bitmap images, one of the uh, drawbacks of uh, using bitmaps or pixel art is that if you transform the art, if you scale it or rotate it a number of times, the line quality can tend to get a little bit blurry or soft. And that's something you want to be able to avoid or be able to fix. So this is a tool in TV Paint that will do that. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to take this duplicate of the cube and I'm just going to transform it several times to sort of show you what happens. So rotate it, then I'll rotate it again, then I'll set the pivot point and rotate it again, and one more time there, and I'll move it, scale it down, scale it up scale it back down and rotate and then rotate one more time and then I'll try to get it back to basically where it was when it started all right now after having rotated and scaled this a number of times you might even be able to see it now in full screen but if I zoom in, you can certainly see it. You see how over here, the line quality is uh, sharp on the original. And here, it's become blurry. So that is something that typically happens uh, when you work with pixel artwork. It just, you know, degrades the line quality. So the thing that's in TV Paint is this drawing mode blend mode called sharp. Now watch what happens when I draw over these blurry lines with sharp. Do you see how it restores the sharpness to the line? So you can do that with uh, the pen tool set to sharp and I just made it a nice uh, large brush so I can go over it quickly. Now you can do that for a single drawing or a portion of a drawing that you want to sharpen. Um, but if you need to apply it to a whole lot of drawings at one time, let me back up here so it's fuzzy again, uh, you use the filled rectangle. So go to filled rectangle, make sure that's in sharpen, and this opacity here will actually adjust the amount of sharpening that is applied. So you can play around with that and you know, if you don't need to uh, make something super sharp, you can only maybe make it, you know, 50% or 60% or whatever. But I'm just going to use 100% on this. And uh, the nice thing about using this is if you had a whole series of drawings, like say 100 frames, and you needed to sharpen them all at one time, uh, what you do is select all those frames on the timeline, then you apply the filled rectangle sharp mode and then just hit return or enter on your keyboard and it will reapply the same stroke to um, all the frames at the same time. So let me uh, zoom in close here and back up. So there it is fuzzy and now I'm going to apply the filled rectangle set to sharp mode. And you can see how it sharpens the line. So that's very useful. Uh, that's something I hope uh, you'll be able to use in your own work and I just wanted to uh, make a quick video to explain that.